Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue working on our Land Rover series. And what we're going to do is uh, we got our Merc Cruiser engine already installed. So we're going to hook up a throttle cable and reinstall the carburetor. And uh, the throttle cable is just a generic one from Amazon. And this could actually be used on any series truck if you use it the same way I have it. Or whatever, you come up with your own way. Whatever, do a conversion from the push rods to a throttle cable. So that's basically what this video is about. And uh, enjoy it. If you have any questions about the parts or pieces or how I came up with everything, just let me know. But thank you for always the positive words and comments. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you at the end of the video. Thank you. All right, we're gonna install the carburetor. And again, this is a Solex carburetor. Uh, made by Brosol down in uh, Brazil, and it's an H40-44 EIS carburetor, and also known as a Cadron carburetor in the Volkswagen world. So we'll install this. Take our tape off. We put it on there so nothing falls down in there. And also the, the spacers here that I made, so it'll clear the, the arm here. Put a washer on, a washer on. Nine, uh, I think it's three eighths bolts. Go down on. Okay, snug it down. Put our fuel line on, because we already know it works, since we already had the engine running. All right, fuel line's on. I also made, I also made, used a, a quarter inch line to come over here, I'll show you. So the fuel line connects here, of course, to the carburetor, comes around, and then I made, I used quarter inch uh, brake line. I put a bend in it here, took it over, and I'm using two brackets here that I made to hold the fuel line, come across and come over, go down, and right down to the fuel pump on the other side of the engine over here. So there, that's the fuel line. I put this on, I, I was gonna put a rubber line up through, but I thought, well, I can run a nice metal line up over and come straight to the carburetor with metal line instead of rubber. So carburetor's installed. So how about we connect a, a throttle cable next? We're gonna be, now we have our carburetor on, we're gonna hook it up to our pedal so we can have some uh, fuel and gas going through. So what I did is I went on to Amazon and just bought a cheap throttle cable from Amazon. And you can see, I'll show you the ends. One end has like an adjustable here. It's adjustable up and down. And then has here as a little piece that it pops onto like a little ball piece. And I put that ball piece already onto the butterfly down here. So that's that end of the carburetor, that end of the throttle cable. Then this end here, it has a little like horseshoe thing with a little pin going through and some adjustment right here too as well for a bracket so those are our ends and did I mention it's 36 inches but I ordered a 36 inch one so then I could cut it down if I need to so whenever I cut this down I did a little test fit already with it when you go to cut this down if you have to make your cable shorter wrap it with some masking tape what I did is I took the cable out and then I wrapped it with masking tape so this so this uh, mesh doesn't splinter out like that because the it actually came and it was already splintered out on the end. So I, I nipped it off a little bit, but I left the tape on there and then I cut it off with a, with a angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. And then you can see now it holds its shape and then you can slide that right back into there. Okay, so made some brackets to go onto here for like... Okay, here, actually here, we'll do this. This is how I figured out my brackets and how to do it. Go over here, zoom in. So 
So if we look at the, the throttle arm here and we have a ruler right here, if you, can, if you can see that with the lights. So we have a throw from here We have a throw from here to here, which is about an inch, eh, we'll say, yeah, like an inch and three fourths is the amount of throw that we have to do, we need for our pedal to work, okay? So in order to get that throw, I took this little arm here. This arm here used to be over here to control the diesel pump to give it gas and everything, that bar that comes across right here. So what I did is I just took that arm off over there and moved it over here. And this gives us roughly about an inch and a three-fourths throw when I, give it gas, when I give it gas and it moves up and down. So that should give us enough to actuate our carburetor right here with that arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it here, have it come down and make a little bracket for right here. And we'll probably we'll swoop it around like this. How about I put this down? We'll go and we'll swoop it around and we'll bring it right over here to the carburetor. So I came up with some brackets. Of course, using the old um, cardboard method, I'm going to use this bolt over here, which is actually an old pivot for the old Rochester carburetor that used to be on here. So I use that for a mount. And then it should go, and that you can see that kind of lines up that black dot with our throttle arm over there. So that's how kind of the shape we're going to follow right here to make that bracket. Then over here, I'm going to use the steering. This is a left hand drive, so it has these three bolts here. So I'm just going to use these bolts to make a little piece of angle iron to come right up to our bracket right here. So it should go straight up like that. So let me go grab the, the brackets and we'll put her together. All right, so I got the brackets and I made them up. So this one here is gonna be the one that goes right here onto the steering that goes up to there. So what I did is there's the three holes here that's the, for the steering. And then uh, I put a little bracket here just to give it some more strength so it doesn't flex whenever I give it gas. It's not gonna be a whole lot of pressure, but, but still it looked nicer, I thought, with the little bracket going across. Looks real professional. <laughs> so, and then I took it and I moved it over because this actually is kind of off center to miss this bolt here to miss this like pivot point right here this has to be moved over so the where the cable goes through actually has to be to the left a little bit but anyways so i drilled a hole for the bracket for the cable to go through but i also put a slit there so then i can just take it put it right on there and i don't have to take the cable in and out or whatever to put the bracket put it onto the bracket or replace it if I need to, if I come up and end up the cable breaks or something, I can do it real easy. So I'm gonna put this one on, and these are quarter inch bolts. So I'm not even gonna take those bolts out. I'm gonna use the, the bolts on top of that and kind of lock it down. Just like that. Of course, I dropped the washer, so I have to go pick that up. All right, so I'll put those nuts on there in a second. So over here for this bracket, for the side of the carburetor, on this side, where it attaches to, is I made this bracket with the, kind of the shape that we had for the paper. So it's going to go on here. This will be the hole for that goes into the manifold. This is for our throttle cable. Of course, I put another slot in there, too. And I thought the curve on it looked really nice too. So whenever it was sitting there like this, it's actually kind of had some flex to it this way. So what I did is, uh, again, put a little brace in here, just a little piece, welded it in there, and then welded a brace down here too. So like I said, we don't have much to bolt with over onto the manifold. So I had only had that one bolt to use. So once I did that, it kind of stopped it from moving side to side, but it still wanted to kind of move up and down. So what I did is I put a bend in the back. I made this a little bit longer and put a bend in it. So it'll hit into the back of the manifold here. So when it's bolted in there, it's kind of going to sit in there like this and not pivot up and down. Or if, if it does pivot a little bit, it's just going to move and hit right against it. So I think we're good on this one. 
So, and I took a, a bolt and I had to cut it down because it's actually not much threads in the side of the manifold. So then I could use that for this. Okay, well, I'm gonna tighten up all the bolts and everything and I'll be back. We got our brackets on now. Now we can put the throttle cable on. So now you can just take off the adjusters here, this bolt, the end here, and we can take slide it. Slide it down through the slot, put that on, and we can twist that on. So we got our throttle connected to this end, and we pop this end on. It was real hard to get on there before. Yeah, there you go. So now we got our go in there. And we can take this and loop it around. And take the, the nut and off, the put it through the slot into the hole. And we can put the nut on to the end. Okay. And this is the tricky part with this little this little uh, E-clip on the end. I usually lose it every time. All right, so we got the little E-clip out. We got our pin. All right, wow, got the E-clip on and I didn't lose it. That's amazing. So you can see it kind of goes and loops around, if you could see that, it kind of loops around. So it might be kind of long or I might be able to trim it down a little bit more once we get the fender on there. We'll see how that plays and falls into there or whatever. But uh, that kind of works pretty good right like that. Okay, so. Let's go in, I'll go in and hit the gas pedal. And there you go, it's working. So you can see it's pushing it, but I'm gonna see, make sure when I give it full gas, when I have someone here to help me, when I give full gas and adjust the cable a little bit as needed or whatever. So throttle cable's done and carburetor's hooked up. I do have an air cleaner for it that I'll be putting on in the future, but still that this part's done. So let's see what we can do next. I ended up adding an extra spring, as you can see here, to pull the throttle back down. And then this carburetor likes only two pounds of uh, fuel pressure, so I ended up adding a fuel regulator as well. Well, thank you if you made it to the end of the video. So this is kind of the way I put it together. Um, I'd be interested if you guys have ever done a throttle cable uh, conversion on yours from the push rods, because I had the push rods with the diesel one with the diesel engine in there. But the throttle, I couldn't get it to work with the push rods anymore, so I had to use the throttle cable. But anyways, thank you if you made it to the end of the video. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.